Korth for the Game Boy is a vertically scrolling shooting puzzle game. It kind of defies genre conventions, it mashes a few things together, and works very well. You do, however, have to put a little bit of time into this game for it to start to really make sense. So, scrolling down from the top of the screen are various uh, shapes. And as you shoot blocks up into the shapes and complete squares and rectangles, it will clear the shapes and uh, depending upon how many of the shapes you manage to include in your completed square or rectangle uh, will dictate how many points you get and if you get a power up or not. The game does support a two player mode utilizing the link cable. I managed to record some two player gameplay capturing uh, player one on a Super Game Boy 2 and Player 2 on a GameCube Game Boy Player setup. I personally find this game to be very enjoyable and I have sunk quite a bit of time into it at work. When recording this uh, two-player footage, my girlfriend ended up getting uh, very into the game and we spent about an hour playing it. The intent was to play a few practice rounds so that she uh, got the concept of the game and then just record a little bit and then we were going to record a little bit of two-player footage of the uh, next project I had cooking. But she ended up enjoying it so much that she did not want to stop playing, which I take it as a good indicator of how uh, quick and easy it is to pick up and really get into this game once you get the hang of it. The game does have a fairly good amount of power-ups that you can obtain by getting uh, big point combos. The most common is used in the two-player mode. As a player does well, the other player's screen becomes obscured, making it harder for the second player. If you have the uh, most common power-up, using it will make that um, obscured area of the screen sort of see-through. So that's definitely good to hang on to in the multiplayer mode. If you're playing single player, it's really useless. Um, so you can just let it sit in your inventory. There is a power-up that will freeze the progression of the falling uh, shapes. There's a screen clearing power-up that will clear all of the shapes off the screen. Like if you get into a jam and you're about to die, that's a good time to dust off the one that clears the screen or halts the progress of the falling blocks, giving you a little bit of time to clear out the screen. Down on the D-pad makes the blocks fall faster, which sometimes you want to do, so if you're doing well, uh, you can reveal more of the falling blocks and try to clear off some squares or rectangles. Up on the D-pad cycles through your power-ups, and then there is your shoot button, and your button that activates the selected power-up. It's a pretty straightforward and simple game. I had a lot of fun with it in the single-player mode, and I definitely had a lot of fun playing it in the two-player mode. I'm really glad that my uh, woman enjoyed it so much, because I look forward to playing some more head-to-head -head Quark. Overall, I'd recommend this game to pretty much just about anyone that enjoys uh, your basic kind of puzzle games. If you enjoy your Busta Moves, Tetris, Puyo Puyo, uh, that kind of thing, you'll probably enjoy this game. It is an affordable title and should be in every Game Boy owner's collection, especially if you're lucky enough to have someone in your life to play Link Cable games with.